Before you can program climate logic to make weather-based adjustments to your Eritrol irrigation system, the receiver module and weather sensor need to be installed. Let's walk through it. Start by inserting the connector cable into the receiver module. Then connect the other end of the cable to the controller's remote control jack. With the cable connected, you can now mount the receiver module to the wall beside the controller. For most controllers, the receiver module will automatically synchronize the date and time upon initial power-up. If your unit doesn't sync automatically, you can use the GET function to retrieve the date and time from the controller. Or use the arrow keys to set them manually. When the receiver module and controller have synchronized to the current date and time, press SAVE. Then, press the exit button twice to return to the home screen. Now, it's time to set up your location so that ClimateLogic can utilize current and historical local weather data. With the cover closed, insert the included ClimateLogic setup card into the receiver module slot. Open the cover. Note that the home screen only displays until a location is set. Press the Set Lock key to begin setting your location. You can also press Menu, then Location, then Enter. The Location screen will appear. By default, the screen displays the entry for your zip code. If you prefer to designate your location by latitude and longitude, simply press the corresponding button to enter the coordinates. Press the Save key, then press the Exit button twice to return to the home screen. You no longer need the Climate Logic setup card, so you can leave it in place or remove it and store it inside the controller cabinet. Now, let's turn our attention to the weather sensor. Activate it by pressing and holding the test pin until the red LED illuminates twice. This usually takes 10 to 15 seconds. The weather sensor is factory paired with the receiver module. So, you should soon see a successful sensor setup note on the screen. If you get a please add sensor message, follow the instructions in your user manual to pair the devices. Before installing the weather sensor on a gutter or wall, choose a location that isn't under trees or overhangs and where the sensor won't get wet from irrigation. Also, verify that the sensor will be in a location that allows a good signal by viewing the signal strength on the home screen. A signal strength of three bars is optimal. With the signal strength confirmed, secure the weather sensor to a gutter or wall using the hardware provided. Your climate logic is now installed and you can move on to programming it, which is covered in another video. For additional details and information on all climate logic functions, refer to your user manual or contact customer care.